In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. Mandalorian earpieces. Uh, I made mine out of wood, so this is basswood. Uh, you can get these at any hobby store. Uh, they come in various sizes, uh, different widths. Um, I like getting the smaller ones, and then if you need to make a thicker piece, you can actually glue these together. Uh, I saw this technique first on uh, the Prop Master, and uh, he was building a Boba Fett helmet. Uh, so what you'll do is you'll trace your template onto the wood, and then again, depending on what thickness you need, you'll shape the earpiece uh, into uh, its final form. Uh, the side that has the rangefinder on it comes in two pieces and uh, again just paying attention to detail lots of patience using a coping saw razor blades as well as different sanding sticks uh, different sandpapers and files you can do this by hand you don't need a 3d printer uh, to do that uh, for those of you that want to see final product uh, i'll go ahead and uh, show you what I did on mine because again you can use the wood uh, for your final piece uh, but because I thought about making multiple uh, pieces out of plastic uh, I, I went ahead and made silicone molds so for those of you that want to uh, skip ahead to the end of the video you can I'll show you how I attach these to my helmet and for those of you that want to see what I did to make the plastic replicas of these wood pieces uh, go ahead and continue watching once my silicon mold is in place, uh, I have a pore spout here where I can actually put the plastic resin inside. Um, I like to keep mine uh, sandwiched together between pieces of cardboard and use lots of rubber bands. Uh, but you'll see that the silicon mold comes in two pieces. Uh, it will make a negative of your original wood piece. And again, this is the area that gets filled in with the plastic resin when it comes through this pore spout. It only takes about 15 minutes. Uh, and when you open this up, you will actually see a plastic copy of your wood piece. This was my right side ear, the one that actually holds the rangefinder. Again, you can see these negative back sides that are in this silicone. Uh, I also missed the chance to make some uh, key slots so that they'll line up correctly, so I had to use these wood pegs. But you can see, uh, once that silicone cures, it will make a copy of your wood piece. And again, once you fill this uh, silicone mold with your plastic resin, uh, it will make an exact copy. One thing I did want to show you on these plastic pieces, I have multiple pieces working on different helmets and different styles. You want to make sure that you're using the correct mix ratio on your plastic resin. Uh, you can see these are very thick, they don't bend, uh, but if you mix the ratio, uh, or if you don't mix it correctly, sometimes your end product uh, will bend. It'll be almost like a rubber. Uh, you do not want that for your pieces. You want to make sure that you're following the directions uh, on the mix ratios uh, for your plastic resin. I use Smooth On products for making my silicone resin, or excuse me, my silicone molds. That's a two part A and B. What I like about Smooth On is they use different colors for the different uh, rigidity, uh, the toughness, uh, the thickness of the uh, silicone mold. Uh, when you're moving into your plastic resin, I used a uh, the product, again, two part as well. I used the 65D uh, smooth cast. And again, this is a, a little more um, durable plastic. And like I said, this comes in two parts. You want to make sure that you are mixing appropriately or you will get that rubber uh, pliable uh, end product. You can also mix dyes with this. Uh, it'll either come out as a solid white, or if you mix different colored dyes in with it, it'll come out in gray, blacks, reds, blue, whatever color you would like 
uh, your final plastic piece to look like. Again, my end products come in white, uh, and it's not a big deal for me because I go back over, prime, and paint them, uh, so I'm not really concerned about the end product color. But those are the products I use to make the copies. And again, you don't have to do this technique if you don't want to make multiple copies of your wood pieces. Uh, again, you can paint your wood pieces directly. So whether you decide to make plastic molds of your wood carvings, or if you just wanted to paint your wood carvings uh, without making copies, uh, again, this is a very easy technique I picked up from the prop master. Uh, you can, uh, again, get as complicated or as detailed as you would like. Uh, I added rare earth magnets on this earpiece that covers the rangefinder just to hold that in place. Uh, you'll also notice on the back, uh, once you mark the area where you want to place your threaded screws, uh, you can hold those, uh, take a Forstner bit actually, uh, you'll hollow out a little bit of uh, the backside. And then I like to hold it in place with super glue and baking soda. Uh, once that threaded post is in place, then you can secure it from the inside of your helmet with the acorn nut. Again, I did that on both sides. Uh, very easy technique. Uh, but again, I chose to make those plastic copies because if I lose one or if one gets damaged, I don't have to create a brand new one from wood. Um, I would recommend that for those of you who are going to be trooping or moving uh, from place to place uh, in your costume, uh, different events. If you lose a piece or, again, if it becomes damaged, you can easily take uh, the plastic resin I use the smooth on and uh, make a copy. And then the hard part is just painting it. Uh, getting it back to um, this battle damage look. So hopefully you found this video to be of help. And uh, again, hopefully you will uh, use some of these techniques in your own builds. I added a subscribe button on this channel in this video just to show folks uh, probably every two weeks or so I'll post a video on what I'm currently working on in my very own Mandalorian Mercs costume. And uh, again, just learn this from watching hours of YouTube videos and trying to be helpful for those of you that are trying to create your own costume and props.